Good morning and welcome to the Vicarage Study. Uh, I'm very happy to join you today for morning prayer on this the 14th of May. So shall we just take a moment, I'll say a short prayer. God of love, turn our hearts to your ways and give us peace. Amen. And so we begin the morning prayer for today. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever as once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty act. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And our psalm for this morning is Psalm number 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart, though the idols are legion that many run after. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death. Nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In, the presence, in your presence is the fullness of joy. And in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And our reading this morning is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 2, beginning at the 37th verse. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other disciples, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptised, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, 
and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord God, our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourself from this corrupt generation. So those who, were welcome, those who welcomed his message were baptised, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Here ends the reading. We come to the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophets of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen. So we come now to our intercessions for the day and as, as has become our custom I'll leave a pause at the end of each section so that you can offer up the concerns of your heart to the Lord. So let us pray. So let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and our stronghold. We pray for the health and well-being of our nation. We ask that you would be all those who are fearful and anxious. lonely and frustrated in these difficult days lord we ask that you would help us to find peace and freedom from worry Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So we pray for the isolated, 
those who are shielding and housed bound. May we remain alert to their needs and care for all who are vulnerable. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So we ask that you would bless our homes and our families, our loved ones near and far. Many of us are missing those who are dear to us We have, we pray for them. We pray for those whom we love but cannot just yet see. We pray also for our schools as they work out how it might be possible to reopen and for all children and young people. We pray for any who find themselves in need or distress. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask a blessing on our local community for all the villages of the Allen Vale Benefice, for all those living in the hamlets and on farms. <coughs> we ask that you would bless us all and keep us safe. We ask that our neighbourhoods would be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. We particularly ask your blessing on the work of the Shepton Mallet Food Bank, which has provided a real lifeline for many at this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. And on the day when the church remembers Matthias, we say his collect. Almighty God, who in the place of the traitor Judas chose your faithful servant Matthias to be of the number of the twelve, preserve your church from false apostles and by the ministry of faithful pastors and teachers, keep us steadfast in your truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. 
Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So thank you once again for joining me today and I hope to see you. Um, well, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you.